Hello there. I am Dr. Rabbit, the world's only <laughs> rabbit rabbit. You see, that's a, that's a joke there. I like to try and play a trick on people when they come into my office, lighten up the mood a little. What, not even a goddamn laugh? Oh, it's gonna be a rough fucking couple weeks. My real name is Dr. Green Zed Hill. They got my nameplate wrong. Here at Therapy, we're here to answer the one big burning question everyone's got. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> well, with my 10-step plan, I'll be happy to go plumb the depths of your sad, scared little mind and see what makes you tick, as it were. Now, this is a simple 10-step process, and we can split it into chapters, if you will. It's, it's very simple. <laughs> <laughs> Almost like a game or something. Damn you like it. games? Don't answer that. I'm going to be doing a test on your psyche later, and I wouldn't want to cheat on that. Not like you, of course. <laughs> That's another joke. <laughs> I noticed you don't have much of a sense of humor. That might explain all the shit you've gotten into recently. No, wouldn't it? Now take a look at this, young man. Can you tell me what's written on this paper? Uh... It's a guy. No, see... That's the picture. <laughs> I asked you specifically to tell me what was written on it. I don't speak corn. <laughs> oh, so now you're a funny guy, huh? You think you got your own jokes? You think this is stand-up? I'm here to help you, and what do you do? You spit in my goddamn face! Metaphorically, of course. Well, now, wise guy, <laughs> let's see who among us really is the funniest. <laughs> it's going to be a long and arduous couple of weeks, but I think unless you want to work with me here, well, we're going to be stuck here until dawn. So let me get this straight then. So you say an ex-con, some mean gamers, and that anus guy walk into Alberta, and the park <laughs> ranger says, what is this, some kind of joke? You see, that's what I think of your problems, is they're just some kind of joke. That in itself is also a joke. They pay me very well to try and help you, young man. But you're going to have to work with me here. You see, you're not getting to any of the important parts, the good stuff, the real trauma. You're just telling me, like, what they all had in a sandwich the other day. You know, I went to Blackwood's Pines one, one year. I thought it was Blackwood's penis for some reason. <laughs> Got in real trouble with the locals, I did. <laughs> they don't let me back there anymore. Could you point to the picture of a woman, please? What the fuck? Gender isn't real. No, that's... <laughs> I think... I think you have some very strange misconceptions about... You know, publicly perceived notions of masculinity and femininity. That, or maybe you're just trying to be woke or something. I mean, I can appreciate it, I suppose. Now, you like music? Tell me all about your favorite song, and let's see if you can replay it perfectly. That's the only reason I bought this metronome, is to make people feel bad about not being able to play the piano. I don't even got a piano, really. That's how I get them. Keep him guessing. That's what old Dr. Hill likes to say. <laughs> Your insurance isn't covering these sessions, by the way. <laughs> ah, hello, patient. I see you must have woken up by about now. You like the new office? I fucking don't. Ever since the piano incident, the last one, when well, we had to bind and gag you to contain your power and bring into this dilapidated old dump. They're still working on the repairs to this day. 
real impressed you were able to play the piano so well with those burns on your hands, but, you know, that's a story for another day. <laughs> Managed to spruce the place up with a couple of effects from the old place. Eh, it's good as new. You like philosophy, kid? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Thought so. <laughs> you ever heard of the ship of Theseus? You know, it's a moral dilemma. You, if you take some sort of boat, let's say, and you gradually replace every part of it over time, suddenly it, well, is it the same boat as it once was? Or is it something new entirely? Well, what if we did that to a person? What if gradually over time we took every part of a person and replaced all their bits with something else? Do they still have a soul in them? Are they still the same person? Am I still the same person? <laughs> now this is all, uh, this is all just a joke, of course. Uh, I am very human, I assure you. <laughs> Can I please get my money back? Oh, <laughs> you didn't review the contract, did you, kiddo? I value honesty, what was in that contract. <laughs> Right, and the contract was very honest about exactly where your money was going. <laughs> namely to me, and not back to you. <laughs> I value honesty. That's literally what you just said a couple seconds ago, kid. We covered this. Now, the contract don't say nothing about me repeating myself. Oh, did you hear that? What the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. We might need to eat at this office and get somewhere safe. I know a little place down by the bay. <laughs> <laughs> he really had that much trouble with the door, did he? That's wild. <laughs> so, you ever put much stock into horror scopes or any of that? I don't, but I saw something very interesting in the papers today. So tell me, you a, you a Gemini, you a Canker, or Sagittarius? They don't tell me, I looked it up. Anyways, this is what they said under yours today. You will be tried in court under conspiracy for murder. I what? Now, you didn't pay me to offer legal advice, but I will tell you. <laughs> Telling them the vibes made you do it won't hold up in a court of law. <laughs> Now, take a look at these impressions pictures I drew based on accounts of uh, you and your friends that you've described. I mean, of course, uh, the one I did of you is just uh, photorealism based on what I've seen, but I've, I've, I reckon the rest of them I captured pretty good based on what you told me. Please click on your favorite dog. <laughs> You're a good artist. I, I mean, I appreciate the compliment, but that... That very much a human that you just clicked on. The nose is off. See, again, <laughs> I appreciate the critique. Again, these are very much people you're clicking on. I don't see any dogs, so I'm selecting my friends. Re really? That guy? The one going off about the kid act all the time? He, he's Strange. valuable for reasons. Ah, the Doberman Pinscher, an excellent choice. <laughs> Doink. So what'd you think of that? He made his hair look stupid. I love it. <laughs> That's because you described his hair as stupid, kiddo. That's what I'm working with here. You see, this is a learning exercise. You need to tell me every detail of what went on. Every nitty gritty bit and do not skip a single thing. Now, if you could offer me a little bit of critique on these, on these drawings, what I made. <laughs> Come on now, don't be shy. There's no color in the hat. <laughs> well, you see, it's just a little thing we in the art community call monochrome, where we purposefully don't use color. Not like you've ever done anything on purpose in your entire life, you fucking hack. <laughs> oh, would you look at the time? It's time for me to rip you a new one again. <laughs> you fucking jerk. <laughs> Next thing you know, we're going to be in a whole new office because of what you've been doing. <laughs> I cannot wait. But I suppose I'll have to. Goodness, boy. I mean, I know I told you to go over every goddamn detail, but... Man, you really don't know how to get to the point, do you? <laughs> and now I know you're just fucking with me. Really? Cut in half by a big old saw blade and here you are to tell the tale with legs still intact? 
What do you take me for? Some kind of clown? Some kind of boo-boo the fool that ain't done this rodeo before? I don't really know where this metaphor is going, but I do know where we're going, buddy. You're going home. You think you can just come in here, give me thousands of dollars, and just drive me around like this in the roundabout with nary a parking lot in sight? Boy, I do like my metaphors today, but that's not the point. <laughs> the point is, you came here to get helped, and you are clearly beyond helping. I have tried, oh, I have tried, but you, you're just not receptive to my message. So that's it. Our partnership is over. You had your chance. Go home. This is real life, boy. You don't get to reload your save, and you don't get a part two. <laughs> Bet on it! <laughs> or my name is Dr. Green said Hill. Looks like the banishment spell really worked after all. I can finally <laughs> stop with this whole therapist facade. I mean, I suppose I got pretty good at it, but I was kind of tired. Let's get to work then, shall we? No cheer, say. We haven't had a vibes incursion this bad since the Enkidna incident of 1907. <laughs> hey. Well, it's going to take a lot of work to get things fixed around here, but uh, I reckon the damage is unfixable. I've, I've dealt with worse, but... You know, I've dealt with better before, but gotta say, old Root Mountain, you've really seen better days, haven't you? You go Hello. And oh, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> we are dead. We are dead. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you want to stick around, I suppose I'll try and get you up to speed. Root Mountain is a conflux of negativity in your world. It is the natural disposal site of bad vibes. They go there to die. Your little ritual has thrown the whole world into strife. You've caused an eruption. It's like a bad pimple going thermonuclear. Inanimate objects are starting to speak. There's been time dilation all over the place. You turned yourself into a half horse, half ghost, half man. That's three halves, you son of a bitch. Of course, my body is still. I imagine by this point you've surmised I'm not really a normal therapist. I'm the universe's therapist. And you're making the world feel some serious health problems, you son of a bitch. <laughs> 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 Holy shit, dog! What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> you got people hitting each other. You got a mood flipping. I sent my top man, Doctor Lumen, back to fix things up, and now I gotta sew his head right back on. <laughs> and I, I know I, I know we dropped the whole the whole therapist act here, but how are you feeling? I mean, how are you feeling about <laughs> everything you've done here? I, I just genuinely, sincerely want to know what is going through your head right now. <laughs> Uh, you're not giving me much to work with here, kid. You're chuckling. You're giving me a chuckle here? All right, I see how it is. Well, it's been taking a bit of work to uh, sort of sew things back together over in uh, Timeline Alpha. And, well, what's so funny? You dropped the clown mask, son. What's so funny? You got a little bit of... Oh, sorry. Guess you're not wiping that smudge off your forehead, are you? <laughs> Looks like I'm the funny one now, aren't I? <laughs> hmm. Gotta say, though, mighty impressed. Nah, listen. No, you listen. You got a couple of them goons down there. They're seeing the bounds of the universe they live in. They're realizing this world is limits to it, and they're coming to terms with it like you did. Except, you know, instead of, like, becoming a total sociopath like you did, they're just trying to make the best of it. I gotta say, real, real sad what happened to you. You wake up one day, you realize the world you know is limited, and realize that you know and such means you can play with it, tug on the strings a little bit. You look at that world and you think yourself some sort of god, don't you, son? Hmm. <laughs> don't I know it. Are you ready to feel the wrath of a god, kid? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yes! Jesus Christ. <laughs> 
Now, I'll admit, given her baseball powers, she's maybe a little out there, but... <laughs> well, I'm sure you could have seen the effectiveness of it, given the psychic flashbacks I'm giving you to events you could never have experienced. Now, I'm sure maybe something else you've noticed here is that, uh... The events might be a little different from what you remember. You, you, you know these cute little butterflies I've been making you see? Corner of your vision? Yeah. Well, in yeah. business, we call this the butterfly effect. You see, I've been going back, <laughs> stitching up problems what you caused, and, you know, aligning them towards a more favorable path oh so that, God. you know, letting them go towards something that lets them live so that retroactively they would have always lived. You may have noticed as well that reality itself has fallen apart all around you. This, of course, is an effect of the vibes pooling to a fatal level deep within you. Uh, I'm afraid it, it may be terminal. Uh, we are trying everything we can to see if we can fix you as well, but uh, oh, if only we were so lucky. You are still paying for these therapy sessions, by the way. The contract is legally binding. <laughs> Uh, there are no laws of the universe, which are the only laws that matter, I reckon. Oh, boy, did you do a number on them. You, uh, you do remember the contract, don't you? 